Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Playing Life with Erin, and I'm so excited you decided to check out this video. Thanks so much for being here, and if you're returning, hey, hey, how have you been? All right, guys, we are very late to the game. <laughs> it is April 3rd. Um, we had a, a very lovely trip to Pennsylvania. Um, we got back on Monday night, and yesterday was a day of not a thing, um, except for laundry because I decided not to do any laundry before I came home. Usually I, I do my laundry before I um, leave my in-laws, but I decided not to. <laughs> so I just literally unpacked everything and threw it in the hamper. And then yesterday I spent um, a good portion of the day doing several loads of the laundry. I think I still have one left to fold, but whatever. We'll get to that. All right. So we're going to be planning out my Hobonichi cousin um, for the week of April 1st through the 7th. Um, I'm really excited. I'm going to use the Finding Peace kit um, from the Coffee Monster Co. I think I want to bring in, um, I can't remember what the name of this washi is, but this also came from the anniversary sale. I absolutely love this washi. I think it's so cute. It has all of the cozy hobbies on there. Um, there's some on here that I, I do like there's some gaming on here and taking photos, journaling, getting outside, things like that, playing cards, like a game night. Um, so there are quite a few on here that, um, I participate with <laughs> or in, I don't even know. Um, but like knitting, I haven't, I haven't gotten into knitting, but maybe I will. Who knows? Anything is possible. Sky's the limit, right? All right. I think for colors, we're going to kind of keep it. Mm, we're going to do, let's see, Tombow 992. That one's pretty neutral. And I want to check something. What colors? All right. So that was pretty bright. I think, yeah, that looked really nice together. So let's do uh, Tombow 623. And Tombow 312. I really like this color combo. I think it's going to match nicely. I don't think it's going to be exact, exact. Like the purple might be a little too bright. But let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's check on something. Because I like this purple, but I do have two others that might be a little more like muted. So it might work a little bit better. Let's see. Um. Uh, I can do it. I can do it. My hands don't want to work today. 553 might actually look a little bit better. It's kind of like in between the purple and the blue. <clears throat> My goodness. My hands really don't want to work today. All right. Hold on. 623. Yeah, actually, that one will look pretty good. 623 or 603. I think I'm going to stick with the 623. That one's going to look great. Okay. Put that off to the side. I don't know what the cats are doing. I just fed them. They were swarming me, but now I hear like somebody scratching at something. I don't know. <clears throat> These cats are strange. <clears throat> okay. So it is early. I decided to just jump on in. This is like my Monday. Um, kids were off to school today. Had a little trouble with Wes today. I totally get why. Um, but it's hard for me to keep my ish together <laughs> when um, he is having some trouble in the mornings. Like, so this morning he woke up a little late. Um, and when I say late, I mean like by 15 minutes and uh, like as his schedule goes. So he actually was very early still in his waking up. But, um, you know, we had, we were a little upset. It was 15 minutes. You know what? I might want to use. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Um, I might want to use my new fountain pen. I bought a Twisby um, Eco, and I filled it with some of the De Artimentis document blank black ink. Um, this is what Helen uses. I reached out because I love the color that she uses, and she let me know which one it was. So I I bought it, and um, I'm loving it. So maybe we'll use the fountain pen in the spread. I don't know. I'm all over the place today. Um, I do need. My Tombow. I want to know what these cats are doing. They're distracting me. And I need my ruler. What do I do with all my stuff? Oh. <laughs> when I came home and like I unpacked everything, I put things in different places. Um, 
to make room for a gigantic box that's been sitting on my desk. Um, but anyways, we'll get into that. I'm like, oh, I'm really all over the place. I'm very squirrel today. Got a lot to talk about. So, um, yeah. So Weston woke up a little bit late today. And to make up for that for him, I decided to... Um, to take him in after Spencer. So usually I take him in first, but um, it gave us a little extra time or get, gave him a little extra time, which I think on a normal day would have been fine. But because like we're, you know, it's like I said, for today is our Monday. Um, and he is very worried about just being back in the swing of things. We were away for six days. So being away for six days means that there were six days that he was off his routine. He does fabulous when we go to my mother-in-law's house and we stay there. He um, he does great. Um, he always has. But um, it's like he, he missed out on what he would normally be doing in those days. And when we're there, it's fine, but um, when we're home, it's like he's trying to fit it all in, you know, and typically when we go away, we don't come back um, and then have to go right back to school. It's just happened to be how the vacation fell this year, um, or when Easter fell this year, I should say, like next year, well, I don't even know if we're going to be able to go for Easter. We might have to go before Easter, but we'll see. Um but yeah, so typically when we go, we have some time. You know, we have the rest of, like last year, we had the rest of April vacation. So it wasn't like we had a, you know, a day where we were driving. And then I, you know, yesterday happened to be a day off of school. And then, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Hmm, maybe we just keep the sidebar purple. Okay. All right. I think we're going to do that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. My throat today. Um being back at home again and like I haven't I didn't sound like this the entire time that I was away I'm like I think that we have some allergens in this house because even Spencer she was fine and then she started coughing when we came home so I'm like definitely something in here um we have a HEPA filter and all that stuff but I think maybe it's just Rhode Island we're allergic to Rhode Island no um so yeah so him having to go back to school today was kind of hard and then he's worried about any homework that he might have to do um and any makeup work and things like that. But I already told him, I'm like, you know, you don't have to worry about your makeup work. Like talk to your teacher and you could probably make up a lot of it in resource. And if you have some extra that you have to do for homework, we're just gonna like keep our cool because we'll get it done. Um, you have a chess club today, you know, it's, it's gonna be a fun day. It's And he always like says he doesn't like Mondays, but Mondays end up being like really good day for him. So now we're like, it's your Monday. But it was really hard, you know, like we're in the car, um, we were talking about the solar eclipse on <clears throat> Monday, which is going to be really cool, but we were talking about that and he started saying how we have to, you know, have a special camera so we can take pictures. And I'm like, oh, um, yeah, <laughs> I was like, well, we'll talk about it later, you know, cause it's like, I'm trying to like keep the peace before school and all the things. And I'm like, we will talk about it later. Um, and he kind of started getting upset because he was like, why can't we get one? And, and I'm trying to keep the peace over here. And I'm like, don't worry, we'll talk about it after school. And he's like, but why? Why can't we get one? And I'm like, they're really expensive. <laughs> and then that upset him. Um, and I was just saying to my mom, I'm like, you know, I get it. I get it. He's like... He's nervous and, you know, all the things and like trying to pivot to get back into the schedule of things. <clears throat> Me personally, I'm trying to like keep myself regulated so I'm not like, you know, losing my ish and I can keep him calm, which is probably the hardest thing that I've had to do since having kids because it's not just with him. I mean, more so I actually, let me... Let me rephrase that for a second. Hold on. I want to put this down here. This is not going to be even. So I've realized that 
Weston has taught Joe and I how to, I wouldn't say it's gentle parenting, um, because, you know, we, we, I don't know. I don't really know the true definition of gentle parenting. We don't yell. Joe and I are not yellers. We don't yell at each other. We don't yell at the kids. We're, we're talkers. Um, if you've been around on the channel for a minute, you might notice that I like to talk a lot. Um, and so he's been something actually that people have kind of ridiculed me for, but I embrace it now. Um, but I've noticed that with Weston, especially because when we, we realized early on, you know, there are frustrations that might have led into yelling and things like that were not um, good for Wes. And if you're new to the channel, Weston's, um, he's going to be 12 this month, actually. Um, he's autistic. So when yelling, it kind of exacerbates the situation. And we learned that early on. And that has just been our thing. So we keep our ish together so we can help him keep his ish together and that was a lesson that Weston taught us and that's how we've parented both of our children um and it's not easy just saying <laughs> um so yeah so this morning I was having a hard time keeping my stuff together I'm tired still I'm trying to get back into the routine of things and I also wish that we had no school today <laughs> Because it's it's hard. It's hard to get back into it. I think um, one day is not enough. Like I said to Joe, I was like, you should have taken today too. <laughs> um, just so we could have kind of had our... Oops, that's supposed to be an O. Wow, look at me. Maybe I should stop talking while I write. Yeah, that's okay. It's a little messy. I probably could have left it looking like an A. Anyways, um, so... Joe definitely could have used another day off today, that's for sure, because yesterday was just, the kids were around, and we've been, we had two car, two 11-hour car rides with the kids, with them all weekend, um, and, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot, especially when you're used to, like, going off to work, or them being at school, so I think yesterday, having that day, <laughs> even though Joe and I had a day off, technically, <clears throat> the kids were home, so we really didn't have that day off, if that makes sense. So, here we are. But it was hard for me to keep keep it together in the car. I'm not going to lie. All right. Do I want to do this on the top and the bottom? I think I do. So, I'm going to... Um, so, yeah, that was a little... That was a little hard. But we did it. Got him to school. Um, he was fine. We kind of solved the problem. He wanted to get a camera so we can take pictures of the eclipse because we actually just found out that our city is doing um, a half a day for the solar eclipse. Um, and it was funny because we just came from Erie, Pennsylvania. And like that is where one of like the major view is. View, view is. View is? I can't speak. Um, viewing areas are. They're going to have 100% um or a total total eclipse total eclipse of the heart <laughs> but um i was surprised when they said that my city was going to do an early dismissal because i don't even think there's school i think they're having a day off like in that whole area so like the new york ohio erie area well that was, that was tricky trying to say those words together um so yeah um that's how we started talking about it. And I kind of, we kind of, we, Weston and I, we kind of came up with a solution. Um, they have like a filter, I guess, you can put on your iPhone camera. Um, I was just going to put the glasses on the camera and see if that worked. But the little filters are not very much money. I think it was like $9. So if you need one, they're on Amazon. Um, I got the viewing glasses. I had to do some research, make sure I wasn't getting any like bad ones or anything. Um, and yeah, it's going to be fun and exciting. I just wish that, um, let's see what colors do I want to do. I think I'm going to do these two. It just was kind of tough that, um, Wes was feeling so, um, anxious this morning. I could feel it, you know, it was like everything normally, you know, we can just sit there and talk about it and have like a, you know, thing, like a conversation and then say, you know. Um, whatever, we'll talk about it later or come up with a solution without yelling and screaming, but that was a little difficult for him today. 
And uh, I get it. I get it. I'm feeling it too. You know, I'm kind of anxious today. I'm kind of feeling like, oof, I don't want to. So we will see how the rest of this week goes. Um, like I said, some, some of these things are hard, but I kept saying to him, I'm like, don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. We'll get it done. Okay. So before I continue talking, let's see. Monday and Tuesday already happened. Today is Wednesday. But what I really want to do is I want to do like a to-do list or a this week. And I'm going to put it in my Monday since I've already used my sidebar. But I do have some things that I need to remember to get done. So we're going to use... I'm trying to... I want to use this and I want to put one of these in it. So I'm trying to figure out which color I want to use. I think I might use kind of like this week. Let's do this week. Let's see how it looks. And I'm going to pull it down a little bit because I don't really need, I can do like drive home and then we'll put this here. I'm not going to do any meal planning or anything because I don't have any food in my house. <laughs> Um, I have enough. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay, cool. Um, I have enough to get me through till tomorrow because I was going to, um, I was going to go to the market today, but we're supposed to be getting like a really bad storm and I didn't know when that was going to happen. So, um, it's not happening until later, of course, when Joe's going to be on his way home, but it's Okay. I'm going to go tomorrow and do all of my errands. All right. We hung out with some friends yesterday. <clears throat> what time did they come over? I'm just going to mark this in. And then I'm going to put in things like I did laundry yesterday and all that stuff. I do need got some appointments. Let's see. I like this one. So let's do Friday trying to remember it's at 245 so if I block it here Spencer has a dentist appointment I was really hoping I was going to be able to get that other baby tooth out but it's really that's crooked it's really in there and it's kind of nerve-wracking because it's not really loose so I'm hoping they can take a look at it and I'm really hoping that she's not going to need any type of like Novocaine or anything like surgery wise, like even if it's just minor dental surgery to get this tooth out. I, although I don't know how minor dental surgery is, <laughs> I've never had it before. But um, I'm really hoping that we don't need to do that and they can just give me some advice maybe on how to get it out of her mouth. So, put this here. I can't believe tomorrow's already Thursday. I think Weston's gonna have a belt test tomorrow at karate. And then let's see what else is going on this week. We've got some after school things today. So exciting. Let's do this one. Trying to kind of use this kit sparingly. I wish I bought two of them. I love these colors together are beautiful. And just the finding piece um, is really nice. I like it. All right, I gotta do this here. I remembered to send both children to school with their instruments, even though we're not sure if Weston has clarinet or not. I'm trying to figure that out. Um, let's see. I want to do... I really like doing a picture here. So let's do one here. Yeah, we didn't know. I couldn't figure out what day, like what scheduled day it was for Weston at school. So we just took it. I'm like, if you don't have clarinet, that's fine. We can always just, um, just leave it in your locker. This one's cute. Oh, these are so cute. I'm gonna do this one. And I wanna do it. All right, so this is usually I put my trash day down. Let's do it here. Cause then it still gives me enough room for a little to-do list here, which I'm going to put in. Um. And we'll do it purple. All right. Ah, so we had a really good trip. Um, I think I'm going to give myself a little bit of space here. This way I can have a couple of to-do lists this week to do. And then I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, that we're going to have date night on Saturday. So, I love that one. So cute. I gotta get another kit. Um, I have another order I want to put in, actually. So, 
hopefully. All right, let's see. We'll do date night here. And then that usually translates into my parents bringing the kids home and us having like dinner or a late lunch. So let's do, what colors do we need on this side? We need some of this green. Maybe we'll pull this one in. Okay, so let's do, I'm gonna say probably around four, somewhere in there. Okay, so I have some boxes down and then I'm gonna put these bullets down for this week and to do. Oh, okay, so yeah, that was my morning this morning. Um, we made it. I'm just a little worried about him because he was, you know, super anxious, but sometimes, actually most of the time when I sent him to school and I'm feeling like, oh no, he's going to have a terrible day. He's super anxious, you know, that kind of stuff. He actually does fine. So I'm trying not to worry too much. I'm trying to go with the whole war. Don't worry unless you have to kind of, um, mentality, which, eh. <laughs> I have, I am a very anxious person, so that statement is very difficult because then I start to worry about worrying and not worrying. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a complicated human, guys. But we had a really nice trip, much needed. Um, it's not like, you know, a vacation vacation, like if it was just Joe and I or even the four of us and like just enjoying some time like at an amusement park or all that stuff. But still very much needed for sure. All right, let's see. Eight o'clock. I have a few things to film today. Got some, oh, today is not Tuesday. <laughs> today is, see, look at me. I'm already, today is Wednesday. I didn't film anything yesterday. I did do some reels yesterday and I did a reel setting up my new Twisby pen, which I'm really excited about. Um, a lot of the stuff came when I was away. My parents were so very nice to um, collect it for me. <laughs> um, but I have a gigantic box and something in there that I'm so excited to share with you guys. And I'm probably going to show it and do like an unboxing when I do my planner check-in. I feel like it'll work um, with that. So if you are not already subscribed to the channel and it's something you're interested in doing, go ahead and do that now and then hit that little bell notification so you're always notified when we come out with something new here on the channel. Um, this week is a little different. Usually we post on Monday and Wednesday and then we have bonus videos that we sprinkle in, um, sometimes on Tuesdays or Fridays or Sundays. So there's always, there's always two videos a week. Um, but a lot of the time there is more than that. So, and we're all about Hobonichi cousin, Hobonichi weeks. Um, I do have a Hobonichi Han that I plan in and, um, just recently a new edition, a Sterling Inc. It is a standard travelers vertical planner. Um, really excited and kind of playing around with it. So I'm really excited about that new introduction to the channel. And we do a lot of things like some unboxing. I love to share some fun products with you guys from Amazon um, and from different people that uh, we like to collab with. So if that is something you are interested in, definitely hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you like this video or any other video we put up on the channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. It helps the channel. And we thank you for all your support. Okay. So now we've got a little bit of house cleaning done there, but I wanted to add in. So like I said, today is Wednesday. I did post on Monday. Um, we did our March monthly. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> April monthly. I have no idea what month we're in. Um, April monthly. And then tonight, this video will go up. But for the rest of the week, normally we don't post on Thursdays. So just so you know, we will be putting up a video on Thursday. It'll be the flip through for March. And then on Friday will probably be the Hobonichi Cousin. No, I'm sorry, the Hobonichi Weeks. And then planner check-in. And um, I'm thinking about doing my very first plan with me and my new Sterling Inc. I, th I think that'll go up sometime this weekend. So definitely hit the notification bell. Um, sorry, my schedule's a little bit off um, this week. It was because of traveling. And I know last week I said that I was going to do... Um, a traveling vlog and I 
started to, but honestly, I just really needed the break. Um, so I didn't do any filming of any journaling or anything while I was away. Like I did last year, I kind of posted it up on Easter last year, but, um, I did do a little traveling vlog that I turned into a reel on, um, Instagram. So if you're not following us over on Instagram, go ahead and give us a follow over there. We're having a blast playing life with Erin. Um, and you can check out that reel. So, but yeah, we're away. I was like, I really needed that. I really just needed time, um, to just unplug and not, um, not feel like the hundred thousand pounds of responsibility. And it's really nice um, to just allow myself to do that. I don't, I'm not the easiest <laughs> relaxer. It's not the easiest thing for me. So, um, it was nice to just be okay and just relax and spend some time with family. Um, and then spend some time just hanging out on my own because I do that because I'm an only child and it's always been a struggle for me to be around tons of people all the time. So if you visit family out of town, you know that um, it's it's not just um, the traveling part of things. It's that constant visiting. And every time you turn around, there's someone there and you have to conversate. And um, it's very tiring for me, I think. Um, somebody gets burned out really easily for <laughs> I mask a lot. I have serious anxiety, especially social anxiety. Um, I love being around my, um, my in-laws. They're great. But when there's constant interaction and then I get so nervous when there's silence, I'm always talking and then that leads to exhaustion. <laughs> so, but I thought it was okay. I have a lot of content coming up. So I was like, well, you know what? We'll just do a regular vlog where I'm journaling every day, I touch in, I touch base. And so instead of doing a planner check-in, that would be the week where there's a vlog. If you've been around the channel for a little bit, um, you probably remember um, us doing those. So let me know down in the comments if that's something that you're interested in me bringing back. Um, we could totally bring that back. It'll probably be like a once a month kind of thing. Um, but let me know. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, I will link one in the description so we can check it out and then you can let me know. Okay. I think I've got a lot of my bases covered. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I got to do the karate and then we can put some pen to paper. Let's see if we can find karate. It should be behind the ballerinas. Yep. We'll do a white one. So our trip is really nice. Um, there is tons of talk of the um, the eclipse there. And we were going to try to get some glasses. I think they had them for free. Everybody in, in Joe's family was telling us if we went to um, one of the gas stations, County Fair, we would uh, be able to get some for free. But we never made it there. Best intentions. But we did not make it there. All right, so we woke up on Monday at 6 a.m. And then we packed. We had our final breakfast with his family and did some visiting. And we were actually on the road, I think by nine o'clock. <clears throat> What was that? My cats are crazy. All right, so I'm going to say right now, all right, I made a purchase from Jet Pens. I bought this Twisby Eco. This is a smoke, I think, or it's black and rose gold. Maybe that's what it was. I looked at quite a few. I really wanted the cream with the rose gold. I think it was a limited edition, but um, if you snooze, you lose. So I didn't put the order in uh, with enough time and it sold out, but I am absolutely loving this. So I have, this is my second Twisby. I have a couple of fountain pens. I'm still very, very new to fountain pens, but I have this one. This was my first one that I got. And this one I believe is, does it say it on here? I believe this one was a fine. <clears throat> this was a fine nim, I believe. I wish I could remember. And then I have this one that is extra fine. So there's a little bit of a difference. 
I'm pretty certain. I could be wrong. I'll have to look it up. But I know for sure the new one is um, extra fine. And it is a rose gold nib. And the whole thing is, is that I really like dark rich ink. Um, so it's been a struggle for me to find a thinner, you know, nib and then still achieve like this dark richness that I like in my ink. Um, and this one, this one's the one because this is beautiful. Um, I've already written in my journal in the back on the daily pages and I am obsessed. So I think a little bit of the ink and a little bit that, you know, it's a fine nib because I do write small. So the smaller or the, the finer the nib, the easier it is to write. But not always is the ink dark and rich. So, um, yeah, this is a great combo. Okay. I'm like, what am I doing over here? <clears throat> I want a little car. I pulled them out, but I put one there, which is fine because that is for when I go out to run my errands. So let's do, I should probably get some water. <laughs> we'll do this here. We actually got home a pretty good time. All right. And we'll just do, um, I think I want to do it this way. We'll put in home. Word bound. I think I'm spelling this right. I could be not. I don't know. That's fine. Homeward bound. We actually got home. I think we got home at like close to 7 30. And then we ended up stopping by my parents' house because they actually picked up some stuff for us. Um, because of all the rain and the yuckiness that we've been getting. Um, our basement is continuously getting water in it, which is awesome. Not really. Um, but they did these like, um, I want to know what that noise is. I can hear something. What the cats are doing. They're troublemakers. Um, so it, they're like, it's like a magic dam bags or something like that, where they're like these bags that, um, or cylinders or I don't know, strips of a bag and you put it on the water and it absorbs all the water. So we put some on the cracks downstairs. We're hoping it like keeps, it's not going to keep all of it out, but we're hoping it keeps some of it out. Um, so we had to stop by and get that. And um, I had to pick up my pies from Easter because my family, my aunt makes, um, I already got the pie and rice pie. So I missed out on that, and my, but she makes extra, so she gave me a half of each and um, definitely needed to get that. So I told Joe, I was like, we have to go to my parents' house. We have to get the pie. And that's what we did. <laughs> Let's see, Spencer, and that's at 2.45. And then hopefully this is going to be date night. Told Joe I'd like to go to the Jefferson Speakeasy and get um, a drink and some appetizers. And then... This will be mom and dad. And then we'll do dinner. Because it'll probably be a dinner. I hope the cat like isn't stuck anywhere. Sounds like they're scratching at something. Did I hear that? I don't know what that is. I'm going to pause because I really don't know what that is. Oh, have kittens, they said. It would be fun, they said. Good thing I got up and I checked. It took me a minute. I couldn't figure out where it was coming from, but they were in my little office, and I saw all three of the kittens looking very guilty. Um, they pulled down one of Spencer's, like she made this robot in one of her after-school programs, and like you, you turn it on, and it has markers on the end, and it like writes on paper. And they managed to knock it off the, um, the shelf. So... <laughs> I'm glad I found that because um, I don't think they should be, you know, playing with it. Okay. And then I do want to mark in. I did do a little bit yesterday, but I did it. Oh, I don't want to put green there. Let's do Tam. 
All right, I need a laundry. Did I already put, I did, but I did laundry yesterday too. So we're doing a little bit of back planning in this video just because. Might as well put in what I've already done. Feel that uh, accomplishment. Okay. I like these colors together. I'm really excited about this kit. All right, so we're gonna put this, I started doing laundry here and we had some breakfast yesterday. Joe made us a nice breakfast. Ah, I don't wanna use this yet, hold on. I want my breakfast. Modis. Oh, I almost knocked my coffee away. All right. Next couple of weeks, I've got a bunch of things going on and then we still have April vacation. Like that's what's crazy. So we had, last year we had um, Easter, I think fell on the Sunday before Easter. No, after Easter after yes so it was easter and then um we had april vacation so it was nice we went away we left like on a saturday we had easter all the things and then um we had a nice long vacation so we kind of like we left on a saturday we had easter and then we had a few days and then when we came home we still had a few days and um this year, let's make sure I spell this correctly. Um, we had to like kind of finagle it differently because it was so early. Easter fell so early. And Joe and I were wondering, I, I have no idea why, um, but why does Easter rotate? I mean, like I was thinking it must be because Ash Wednesday is on a certain day and then it's 40 days till Good Friday because it's 40 days of Lent and all that stuff. So maybe that's why. If you know, let me know. I should have asked my mother-in-law. She would have known. Um, but we had I looked at this year's um, see, this is what happens when I talk and write at the same time. I am not making sense. I looked up this year, or for, yeah, for 20, no, 2025, and Easter is at the end of April vacation, and I'm like, come on, you guys are killing me. So I don't think we're going to be able to go for Easter this year. We might have to go, like, pre-Easter, so I'm not sure. Um, I just wish that it would be, like, Thanksgiving's the third Thursday in the month. Like, can we, can we do that for Easter? And like just, or at least make it so Easter vacation is, or April vacation is with Easter. Like, yes, Easter fell on March 31st this year, but we are currently in April. I don't know. It's got to have something to do with combination of the relig religious aspect and then the schools and then having the days, like having that 180 days so they don't have to go too far into the summer, maybe? I don't know. No idea. Just a guess. All right, so I put in some planning life with Erin time. I've got a lot of things to film. Like I said, I've got, um, I've got an unboxing to do that I'm gonna. I I, I think I'm gonna do it. Like I said, on my planner check-in video. I think that will work nice. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I came home to a lot of goodies. I was like, woo! I like Happy Meal. All right, this week we have Spencer's dentist. And I will say, normally, when I'm using my fountain pens, I don't plan with my fountain pens. I've noticed that. And I'm like, why don't I? So I'm actually planning for the first time using my fountain pen. That's kind of nice. Planning in like the planning section. I usually use it, usually use it for journaling. All right. Um, what else do we have? Weston has his belt test, but I need to, I don't think we need anything for that. I'll write it in here. Well, one actually... Let's do, I need to budget. I need my market orders. And then I have Midas auto pay. I have to check on that. All right, today, what are we doing today? Today we have some more laundry. We have to finish that up. And then I'm going to game and diamond paint. 
when I'm done with my tasks for playing life with Erin for this for today I'm going to take some time that's why I decided to jump right on in and I'm like I'm just gonna get filming and this way I'm all planned out and I know what is going on um and what else do I want to do today we have Spencer's dentist appointment and I have a dentist appointment on the 8th um, but that's next week. And then Weston also has a field trip. So I want to make sure I put that in. But I think I can put it here for a reminder. Maybe I'll add like a reminder thing here. But I feel like I had so many things to do. But maybe I don't. Maybe it was just my kids making me think I was crazy. It's tough. <laughs> Spending all that time with my kids. I love my kids. But I'm like, whoa. All right. So we're going to put in here. We're going to try to make it pretty. Because I don't like writing this word budget all right it's getting better guys <laughs> all right wednesday this is wednesday i don't have much to put here we didn't do anything joe and i played some cards let's put that in there since i have the cute little emojis to go with it we didn't play uno wow we played cards um let's do we'll do this guy because he's kind of bigger Played cards. I'm just going to put them right in the center. And then we'll write it in. Played Rummy. Try to take up some space here. Should have wrote Joseph. Played Rummy with Joseph. Oh, we finished watching. Oh, do I have? I don't know if I do. We watched The Walking Dead. Let me know down in the comments if you've also watched The Walking Dead. I'm not going to give anything away. Um, but we came home. It was so funny. Oh, can I fit that in there? I think I can. We came home on Monday. And like, Joe and I were just having this conversation. So actually, this is going to be like a two-part in the comments. Can I fit this here? I can. Um... It's fine. Just pull this up a little bit. We, um, uh, okay, that's fine. It's a little crooked and it kind of went over that. But sorry, though. Um, what was I saying? Right. So when we came in on, um, Monday, we had the last, um, Walking Dead to watch, the one who lives, or, yeah, the one who lives. And we were really like into, um, The Walking Dead and all that stuff. So we've gone and watched like the spinoffs and really like the Daryl Dixon, Dixon one, really liked the one with Maggie and Negan. But, um, I don't think that Joe and I were a huge fan of, um, Rick from The Walking Dead. I don't know. I know he was like the main character, but when they killed him off, it was like, oh. So we kind of like, we still had, um, interest in it but just not like we had you know like when they start killing off characters and I get it it's a good show um but well let me see if I can fit this in here kind of and then I'll write my little blurb about it afterwards because I don't want to give anything away but um yeah we watched that and it was really exciting but I said to him yesterday I'm like do you remember when we used to just like come home and have like 300 shows to watch and we were excited to watch them all and it's like we've been like in a show rut and um I think a little bit is because we're just like I don't know um not into sitting in front of the TV for forever. We're doing other things, but it's like part of it too is that we can't find a show. Like we watched um, Sweet Tooth on Netflix. The third season of that doesn't come out until I think June, but that was very good. We actually, we just binge watched it and it was very good. Um, but we started watching Parish last night. I think the series like, like premiere was um, Sunday. It was good. It was kind of slow. I fell asleep once and Joe woke me up and then I kind of got a second wind. But I was having a little bit of time, like hard time, like kind of like understanding what was going on. So hopefully it gets a little bit better. Um, but if you guys have any recommendations for shows, please let me know. I'm going to put 
my little emoji here because I got Starbucks on Monday. I treated myself. I loaded in a gift card to the Starbucks app and we treated ourselves um, on our way home. But yeah, so let me know if there's any shows that um, you would recommend for me and Joe. Um, I have a couple that I want to watch. I just never take the time to actually watch the shows. <laughs> um, how? Where do I want to put this? I think I want to put it here. Let's do it like that. But yeah, I kind of feel bad that we don't have shows to watch. I don't know. But it was good. It was all right. The Walking Dead. So let me know if you watched that. And let me know your thoughts on it. Without really giving anything away. Just let me know what you thought about it. Because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. In case um, people haven't had a chance to watch it. Okay. So that was me. On um, Monday, I think. The whole way home. I'm like scrolling through Facebook. And I'm trying really hard just to scroll past all the Walking Dead stuff. Cause, and then we came in. I'm like, we gotta watch it. <laughs> All right, do we have anything else that we want to add in here? I've got trash. Let me write that in. And I think this half of the week is looking pretty good. This one's a little empty. However, that's when we'll do our planner check-in. And I'll probably film it on Friday. And, or maybe I'll do it tomorrow. So Thursday and Saturday kind of thing. Or if I have a chance on Sunday, which I will, because if we have date night and I don't have children on Sunday, um, I will definitely have time. So maybe we'll do Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, or Sunday rather, or Friday and Sunday. I don't know. We'll see. But definitely hit the notification bell so you're notified when that comes out if you're interested. And um, we're going to have a little bit of an unboxing for something that was gifted to me. I'm very excited to share it with you guys. It's a very big box. <laughs> Um, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I can fill in some of this, so we can do that real quick. And this video is a little bit longer. I'm trying to see, um, let me know down in the comments if you prefer longer videos or shorter videos. Um, I know everybody tends to have like their own preference. Um, so definitely let me know. I. I like middle range, but I notice sometimes my videos get a little long and I'm sorry. <laughs> I talk a lot. All right. I did not write in the days of the week, but I think that's okay. Um, let's see. What else did I do? I did some reading. It's like all in the car ride. I got all the cozy hobby d done. Yesterday I did that and I did some gaming. I did not read and we did, <clears throat> I didn't do a 10 minute walk, but I did do a little walking yesterday. Does that count? So we're going to count it. It wasn't 10 minutes. Um, I'm not checking off the eat well box because why? Because I haven't eaten well. <laughs> I have like one piece of pie left. Um, they were only like a half or a little less than a half. So Joe and I had a piece on Monday. We had a piece on Tuesday. It was two, two pies, but small piece each. And then we have just enough for us tonight. Um, and then that's it. Done. Back to my goal. I would love, 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 love. So I might try to like put it somewhere in my my planners I really would love to um I'd like to lose like 10 or 15 pounds we're going to the Poconos or going in July we're going with Joe's family for like a massive like I say massive because it's, like, it's so crazy to me he Joe's got four siblings and then they're all married and then they each most well then there's eight kids mine included, there's eight kids, and then two of those eight kids are married, so they have a husband and a wife, and then there's going to be a newborn baby. I'm so excited. A two-month-old baby, my niece is having a baby in, in June. I'm really excited about that, but it, there's a lot of us. There's a lot, So, but I'm hoping by the time we go for the reunion, um, I'm 10 to 15 pounds lighter and a little bit more fit, um, just for health reasons and um, just kind of like setting myself up for future health, if that makes sense. So I'm going to try to figure out maybe some sort of like health tracker or something to try to keep me motivated on track. But I already have the eating well down when I'm not on a six day or an eight day break for Easter. <laughs> but um, we're going to try to figure that out in other videos. So definitely hit that notification bell figure it out together and try to figure out the best way to track my health and fitness. Um, 
So yeah, work in progress, right guys? Progress, not perfection. All right, I am really liking how this came out. I think it's really pretty. I love these, I love these colors together. I'm definitely going to be ordering another kit um, because I just feel like it, it really goes with my, uh, what I'm, what I'm really striving for lately, finding peace, being okay with taking time for myself, cozy hobbies, um, exploring what I need and what makes me feel good to pour into my cup. Um, definitely going away for the, the weekend or a long weekend was something that was definitely needed. Um, I'm fairly close to my mother-in-law and it was just nice being around family and relaxing. Very tiring, but very nice. Um, and yeah. Okay. So I like this pretty pretty let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this i'd love to hear from you guys and until i see you again have a beautiful week and keep planning bye